I was just in Japan actually, and 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 what's going down there? You want to talk about Mad Max? Is like that's fucking crazy shit. And and we're actually going to go back and shoot. We were doing the preliminary thing there, and like the the actual reactors, um, the the steel, the containment of the reactors is now melting in, in, into the sort of groundwater and melting into the the soil. And there's like major cities there of like 500,000 people that are completely fucking irradiated. And they're not telling people the truth and the kids know that it's wrong. They're really frustrated and they're really angry. And, and the government's just like denying shit. And, and both Chernobyl and, and, and in Japan, I was shocked because everyone, because, you know, energy, people are going, oh, nu- you know, nuclear power, nuclear power, it's, you know, it's the future, it's great, whatever. And you, you just go there and you go, if it fucks up even this much, if it fucks up just a tiny bit, like, you know, in, in the Ukraine, an area the size of France is still completely irradiated, you know, and you're just like, well, <laughs> I mean, what the, like, how is this even a fucking option? Yeah, how is it a possibility that you could have one mistake or a natural disaster like well, a tsunami? Mm-hmm. You know, the fact that they only, fucked. they only planned for, what, it was an 8.2 or something mm-hmm. like that, that's as bad as it could get, and mm-hmm. they got a 9, mm-hmm. and it just wrecked everything, and then yeah. the power goes out, and they can't cool everything off, and then they're pouring ocean water on yeah, it, and yeah. that water is now back in the ocean. They, yeah. they, there's a, an online um, uh, presentation that shows the irradiated water and how it's moving through yeah, the yeah. Pacific Ocean. Yeah, it's yeah. fucking terrifying. Yeah. It's 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 uh it, it's beyond terrifying, and what's happening in Japan now is, uh, I mean, it just shows you like, well, what are they gonna, what, what can they do? They're, how are they going to evacuate a million people? Where the fuck are they going to evacuate them to? And, and how big is Japan? Like, what is the total size of it? Is it possible that the entire Japanese island will get irradiated? Well, no, because it's. I, oh, I, now I'm going to show myself up here for being a bad boy, but I think it's like seven major islands. Um, so you know, there's you know Sapporo's on the north one, and so they have different islands. But it, it, it is definitely it's it's sort of this area that's about an hour and a half, two hours north of Tokyo. But it's actually sort of heavily populated uh, around there. Two hours drive. Yeah. So that and that's you could be that close to a horrible nuclear disaster like that. Two yeah. hours drive. Yeah. That and well, and there's a lot safe. of well, there's a, there's like you know Japan when we first started having our office there was like. You know the future. It was like you know, wow, they're it's way ahead of us in technology and you know everything else. And now when you go there, you know there's no air conditioning, so it's everything's really hot, and the the lights are at like half light. And you know even stupid shit like we were at karaoke and like the it'll just go and slow down because the the power's Whoa. all fucked up and it's, it's it feels kind of like a ghost town. Lots of people have oh, left. That's so creepy. And it, yeah, it's like oh, it, it, it's gone beyond future. It's gone to like it was the future and now it's like post future. And if it's the po- if that's the post future, then we should drink a lot today because it's going <laughs> to not be pleasant. Uh, it's like a movie Akira. I'm yeah. going there for the first time in February for the UFC. Going to Tokyo. Are you really? Yeah. yeah. I flew over. I flew Terrifying. over with a bunch of.